está para que sale ¿Cómo es? Ah, ya estamos casi, va. Hay que hacerle el esfuerzo. Hay que echarle ganas. Sí, cabal. Como dicen los mexicanos. Cabal. Es cierto. Sí. Pues mire, ya le di a enviar y no me apareció nada. Y Pero usted escribió me... ahí. No, no he escrito nada. Solo le di a enviar así nada más. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero igual las respuestas que pudiera tener son aquí 46, 31, 36 y eh, la última que no la distingo bien. Una de esas. La verdad, ni entiendo, tengo que prestar. Tengo que. Yo diría que es de aplicárselo a uno para ver qué puntaje tiene. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es como, como personalizado. Así ah, entiendo. Uh -huh. Pero igual, eh, independientemente de lo A o no, el progreso a mí me parecía del 100%. ¿A le parece el progreso? Sí, sí. Pero... Es verdad. Es verdad. Ya aparece el 100%. Entonces, ¡Ah, qué emoción! Quizás... <risa> Quiere sí, decir pero... que quizás no es, no es tan eh, exigible eso, ¿verdad? Ese, pero sería bueno preguntar, quizás. Ajá, sí, está bien. Vale. Pero sí, hay que ir avanzando. Porque igual este no aparece el chequecito verde a, a, ahí al principio donde dice las secciones. Sí. Correcto. Bien extraño como lo han hecho. ¿va? Ajá, cabal. O les faltó o solamente era como ejercicio. A saber. ¿Qué hace? Eso no se habla. Está enamorado de sí mismo. ¿Creen que era un repiazo de Va a lamentar este día. El día que por fin se expresó. Lo va a lamentar en serio. Como nunca. Sí, sí. Oye, ¿y por qué no dicen a Billy el extremo? Porque Billy es el extremo. Bueno, creo que eso es como Yo lo he visto fuera de su Oye, ya muchas cosas. Una vez, una vez cerca de Dado Tom. De pronto, así de la nada, aparece una porquería de varias verdes y se pone justo en medio. ¿Qué te empezó a gritar? Y este estúpido sale a tratar no, el auto con una botella de whisky en la mano. Y estaba en el fútbol. Oye, no creo que te pese fuera. No es cierto. De pronto, de Hi, good night. Can you hear me?
Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Nice. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Um, let's start. Okay, so this is um, the second day, right? So today is the second day. And appreciate the uh, people that it's on time and ready with the camera. But let's see, we are, my goodness, we are just 6, 17 now. So still we have people missing, but probably they are uh, joining, okay? Okay, so let's start I'm checking right here. We don't have any message uh, right now in the WhatsApp group, right? So let's see, this is the group. No, the only message that we have, it's uh, the front English corporativo, right? So, um, Ahí mandaron un mensaje igual diciendo que no podemos o no tenemos que compartir los links de la reunión. I'm sorry que I switched to Spanish, but that's the recommendation that they tell us because if someone do not receive the link for the meetings and everything, that means that that person can be uh, added into a different group, okay? So, usted le envían el número de link, uh, el link a usted, sesión y todo es por a usted. Ok, es personal, no es correcto que yo lo comparta a alguien más porque si no le ha llegado al correo, entonces habría que validar por qué. Ok, so eso nos lo enviaron ahora, ok, tomémoslo en cuenta que no estamos autorizados a compartir el link a alguien solo porque me lo pide un compañero que tuve en módulo anterior o qué sé yo, right? So el, 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 el link es personal para cada persona, okay? So, uh, let's see. Um, what else we have from the WhatsApp group? So, uh, tenemos avance mínimo esperado en plataforma de aprendizaje. Ahí nos han mandado hasta una fotito para que usted... Eh, lo tenga presente y verifique las secciones que va a estar trabajando en la platform, right? So the same story, section number one and number two, that will be week number one, which is this one, right? So then we have uh, week number two, that will be section three in the midterm exam. Then we have week number three, that will be section number four and 50% of the section number five. And the last week, number four, it will be uh, complete the section number five and uh, do the final exam. So that's the activities that we have. So what else we have in the message? It says, nota mínima de cada sección debe ser arriba del 80%. Haga lo posible por estar al día con la plataforma y evitar no retrasarse con las notas. Le explico brevemente cómo se va a trabajar las secciones dentro de la plataforma. Ahí está detallado semana 1, 2, 3 y 4. Okay? Creo que no hay duda aquí. O sea, creo yo que aquí está claro. Okay? So we have another message today like at FIP. 5.25 in the afternoon, it says, Buenas tardes, recuerden este día ingresar a la clase con su nombre completo según Dewey. Eh, valido acá, José Valladares, Ana Marisela Flores, no sé si solo tiene un apellido, eh, Carlos Castro, eh, Lenin Hernández Flores, no sé si solo tiene un apellido. Ok, so aquí nos han enviado al grupo de WhatsApp eh, indicación clara, ok, conectarse con el nombre completo, según Dui. Mantener activa su cámara durante toda la clase. Veo varios que no tienen cámara y nada más una persona me ha 
solicitado mantener la cámara apagada. So then the rest, I don't know. Conectarse a la clase completa, 60 minutos. Ahí mandan el enlace, el miren ID. And the password, right? So that's, those are the messages that we have, okay? So nice, are we clear with this information? Estamos bien acá, alguna duda, pregunta de esto que acabamos de mencionar? No? So I'm assuming no, right? So estamos bien. So uh, let's start with the attendance, okay? Um, going to move on right here to the other file. And um, please, like always, uh, let me know if you are here. So before to start with the attendance, uh, let's see Kevin Alexander. How are you, Kevin Alexander? How you feel today? Hello, I am very good, thanks. How about you? Very nice, I'm doing great, okay? Thank you for asking, Kevin. Nice, let's see, uh, Catherine Giselle. What about you, Catherine Giselle? How are you today? Um, I'm fine today. Um, fine it at work. Okay, so you are okay, you are fine, and you have a lot of work, okay? So, nice. Let's see, Lenin Hernandez, tell us how you feel. Are you ready for the class? Lenin Hernandez Flores? Lenin, Lenin, no sé si tiene problemas con su audio. So, remember, make sure that you have your audio, right? So, tiene que tener el micrófono listo porque usted tiene que eh, participar, ¿ok? So, Lenny, confirme en el chat si estamos bien. Me avisa cuando tenga audio, please. Um, no sé por qué no le deja. Verifique, por favor, and let me know as soon as you have it, right? So, nice. Let's see, Juan Antonio. What about you, Juan Antonio? How are you? How you feel? Well, I am feeling good. Um, my day was uh, very nice, I think so. Uh, I was uh, working in my San Salvador. And... Uh, Right now, I'm staying in my home. Okay, very good, Juan Antonio. So you were uh, working the whole day in San Salvador, you say, right? So how was the traffic? I heard that it was raining a lot, right, over there in San Salvador. So did you um, get traffic uh, during your uh, time that you go back home or no? Yeah, when I come in for my home, uh, I, I, okay. I got, okay, okay. I got, yeah, I, I got, got traffic. A, a little traffic, not too much. Okay, that was not mm -hmm. that much, it was yeah. not too heavy. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, let's see, Leticia Judith, uh, tell us, are you ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. Perfect, yes, you are ready, nice. Let's see, Oscar Alexander, what day is today, Oscar? All right, all very well, all very well. I'm ready yeah. for the class. Ready for the class. Listen yeah. the question, Oscar. Listen to the question. What day it's today? What? What day it's today? Ah, uh, what day? Um, Tuesday. Perfect. Okay. Today is 
Tuesday. Today so that Tuesday. will be the full answer, right? Today is Tuesday. Very good. Uh, let's see. Um, Ana Maricela. Let's see. Tell us, Ana Maricela, what is a today day? What is today day? What's today day? Today is 20th. 20th. Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, today is Tuesday, 20th of June. Okay, yeah, very nice. So today it's uh, Tuesday, June 20th, 2023 or 2023, right? So very nice, very good. Remember, there are two types of questions, right? So I am will put it right here in the chat. Uh, what day it's uh, today? So el dia, right? So what day it's today? Oh, today is... Um, Monday, today is Wednesday, today is, so that will be the answer, right? So the other question is, uh, what's uh, today day, right? What's to date, date, la palabra date is fecha, right? What is today date, okay? So, cuando usted le pregunte, what's today day? ¿Qué fecha es hoy? Así como en Spanish, right? We say, oh, today it's lunes 20 de junio del año 2023, right? So, the same story in English, right? Today is uh, Tuesday, uh, June 20th, uh, 2023. Okay, the full date. Oscar, go ahead. Uh, date también se lo utilizan como para una cita. Ah, very good, Oscar. Nice. So remember that in English, uh, there are some words that they have different meaning, right? So date, en esta pregunta es fecha, right? ¿Qué fecha es hoy? But if you say, hey, you know what? Tomorrow I have a date. Okay, that means tomorrow I tengo una cita, right? So el date es una cita así como puede ser con un amigo, con una persona, right? X. Pero si yo tengo una cita médica, what would be the correct word? Do you think that you would say, oh, I have a date with my doctor? Se escucha, hmm, tiene una cita con el doctor, right? Pero una cita sentimental, rápido va a la mente, right? So, how you would say that you have a cita médica? How did you say that? Appointment. Okay, Silvia, very nice. I have an appointment. Appointment, okay. I have a doctor appointment. I see. Es una or cita meeting. médica. I'm sorry, Cindy. Or meeting. Mm, can be. The, the thing is that meeting ya sería más como de trabajo. O sea, no es que va a pasar consulta, sino que probablemente hacer algún trato ahí con, con el médico. Un ejemplo. O sea, estamos okay. hablando en el ejemplo del doctor. Una reunión de trabajo puede ser. Okay, but if you will be the patient, so you you have an appointment, right? You have an appointment. Si usted va a estar como paciente. Be careful, no le va a salir usted. Es que tengo una date con el doctor. Y le van a decir, qué bárbaro. So, uh -huh, those are like words that are similar, but different meanings, right? So, el context va a ser distinto. Eh, no ha pasado asistencia, se me olvida. <laughs> Que tengo que pasar el attendance at the very beginning, okay? But let me know if you are here, please. Eh, Alejandra Elizabeth Durán. Alejandra, Alejandra, no está. Eh, then we have um, Alejandra María Lemos. No, si es esta la asistencia de nosotros, ¿verdad? Deje ver. ¿Dónde está? Sí. Eh, Alison, Stephanie, Juárez, Tobar. Alison. Dios mío. Espérenme, espérenme. Estoy leyendo la, la de las nueve. <ríe> Sorry. Nadie por eso me contesta. Este no son ustedes, son en este grupo. Sorry. So, Ada Verónica Muñoz. Present teacher. Okay, nice. 
Alexandra Jamilet Garcia. I'm here. Nice. Alexis Giovanni. Present. Nice. Alicia Perex. Alicia, Alicia, no se conectó ayer, igual ahora. Eh, Ana Maricela. Present, Miss. Nice. Brenda Claribel. Hi, I present. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Byron Giovanni. Hi, good evening. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Uh, let's see, Carlos Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay, Mr. Carlos, please add your second name and your last name. Solo tiene un nombre y un apellido, okay? So, Cecilio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. Um, let's see, Hector Jose. Hector Jose, no está. Eh, let's see, Jacqueline Vanexa. Present me. Nice. Eh, Jennifer Nosel. No set. Present. Okay, thank you, Miss Jennifer. Let's see, Jose Alejandro. Present. Okay, Mr. Alejandro, you were not here yesterday, but it's nice that you are here. Nice. Uh, try to check the recordings, right? The, the video from yesterday, and that way you will be updating with everything. Okay, so let's see, we have Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Nice, Mr. Catherine Andreina. Okay, no problem, Catherine. Thank you. Let's see, Catherine Giselle. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Kevin Alexander. Here, teacher. Nice, Kevin. Lenin Hernandez. Lenin. Creo que no tiene micrófono aún ella. Verifique en el chat, por favor. Eh, Leticia Judith. Nice. Uh, Luis Alfredo. Present, Miss. Nice. María Magdalena. Present, Miss. Nice. Eh, Martín de Jesús. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Miguel Antonio. Okay, Miguel Antonio. Eh, Nelson Eduardo. I'm here. Nice, Nelson. Eh, Noé Ezequiel. Present. Okay, Noé. Eh, then we have Norma Lisset. Present teacher. Nice. Olivia Rachel. Present. Nice. Eh, Oscar Alexander. I'm here. Nice. Zaira Idalia. Zaira Idalia. No. And Sylvia Esther. Good evening, I'm here. Okay, Miss Sylvia Esther. Nice, so we have like four people missing, right? But probably they are joining. Uh, Saira Idali, I don't know if you have a question. Saira? Tiene ahí manita levantada, no sé si tendrá alguna duda. He said the chat present, Miss. Ah, ok, that will be Saira, let's see. Where is the chat? Saira y Dalia. Deje ver si le he puesto la asistencia. Okay, so please uh, make sure that you have audio, right? So, si por algún motivo le está dando algún problema, valide allí y haga el, el troubleshooting, right? Correspondiente para tener ahí. Okay, just let me share the screen really quick. Uh, 
Okay, now you can see the screen, right? So listen, this is the. No, 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 les mandé esto. Nadie me acordó en el grupo. Hasta ahorita que lo estoy viendo, yo ya lo tengo acá descargado. Eh, acuérdenme, tanta cosa se me escapó que pensé que ya lo había enviado. Creo que solo al otro envié. Bien, so I will, I will send it, okay? I will send the manual, okay? So this is the, the, the manual that we are going to use, right? So we already have the five sections, okay? That we are going to cover, okay? Let's start. How often do you exercise? My goodness, that's an interesting question. Uh, let's see, Brenda Clarivel. How often do you exercise in case if you do it, right? Uh, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, miss. Uh, please repeat the question, please. Yeah, the question is how often do you exercise? I, yes, I, I like basketball. Okay, that, that would be like your favorite sport, probably? Yes, it's my favorite sport, yes. Okay, it's nice. Basketball and, uh, and the softball. Basketball and softball are your favorite sports, okay? Nice. Let's see Alexandra Jamilet, the same question, Alexandra. So how often do you exercise yourself? I do exercise every Sunday. Okay, every Sunday, right? Remember, this is a WH question. Let's see. Uh, I'm assuming that you already know, right? Let's see. Um, Maria Magdalena, what is a WH question? Did you remember what is a WH question? Um, let me see. What uh, where um, how okay perfect thank you Magdalena so those are examples right so those are examples for um WH questions okay but uh, one more time, let's see Ada Veronica, one more time. Um, what is a WH question? Did you remember? What is a WH question? Hmm, aha, uh -huh. Ada Veronica. For example, uh, what? How, where, no. Okay, yeah, definitely. Uh, those are examples, okay? There are many options for WH, right? So, but let's see, let, let me be more specific. Let's see, the question will be for uh, Luis Alfredo. So Luis Alfredo, do you know what is the difference between a yes no question and a WH question? Did you remember what is the difference? Uh, answer short, uh, negative and positive. Uh, uh, this is exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luis Alfredo, you mentioned something important, right? Like in the in the just no questions, the answers are, are short, right? So that will be one characteristic, right? So remember that we have two type of questions, right? The yes no questions and the WH questions. The just no questions are like short answers, like Luis mentioned, right? And it is okay. If if I ask you, hey, are you happy? And you say, yes, I am. So it's good. You are answering my question and you are doing it in the right way, right? So that is a short answer. If I say, are you angry? Uh, no, I no, I am not, right? So now we have a, an answer for that question, even though it's a yes or a short question. 
Now we have the WH, okay? So you mentioned, or, 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 and also in the chat, you put the, the examples, when, uh, where, which, uh, whose, what, how, uh, how often, how many, okay? So how much, so those are examples, okay? Those are examples for the um, WH question. The big difference between the yes, no question and the WH questions is that the WH, it's more specific, okay? So the WH, they are looking for a complete and full answer. And the yes, no question, so the answer will be really short, it will be yes or no, okay? So now we have a WH question right here. How often do you exercise? I don't know if you like sports, okay? So in right here in the book, in the manual, we have the top, uh, five sports and fitness activities, right? In the US, remember that the manual, the book and everything, they are from US, right? So the words that we will see right here, that will be American English, right? So if we have different uh, meanings uh, or different words with different meanings, so that will be like British, for example, right? It's a little bit different, okay? So let's see. Uh, I say how often, okay? Because I'm with the American accent, right? So how often, how often? But if you say it like in British, that will be how often, okay? So I, uh, uh, how often? No se vaya a, a preocupar y decir, ve, este pronunció en vez de decir often, dijo often, no puede, okay? No, that means that that is British. Okay, British English, right? So it's okay, both are correct. How often and how often, okay? So then it says the top five sports and fitness activities, okay, in the United States. So this is based on US. Uh, let's see, uh, Nelson Eduardo, help us read in the sports. Just read the sports, please. Okay, sport basketball, volleyball, softball, football, soccer. There you go. Okay, so those are the examples. Okay, different sports. This is in the US, right? US. Uh, let's see. Uh, the next one, uh, Noe Ezequiel, help us read in the fitness activities. Um, weight training. Treadmill and uh, stretching, walking, uh, jogging. No sé si lo dije bien. Okay, nice. Yes. Um, very good. Let's see. Uh, we have right here sports: basketball, volleyball, softball, football, and soccer. Okay. So I guess we are clear with those words, right? So creo yo que todo está claro. No hay um, uh, doubts, right? With the with the meaning and the um, pronunciation, we are okay. Uh, let's see, now we have fitness activity. So what is fitness activity? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Uh, now we have the fitness activities, okay? Son actividades para mantener, mantenerse en forma, okay? Son actividades que nos ayudan a mantener un good shape, right? So that will be fitness activities. We have uh, weight training, we have treadmill, we have stretching, walking, and jogging. So do we know the meaning of all the words? What is treadmill? Okay, treadmill. So there is someone right here that notes the uh, meaning or the expression. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa eso? Mm. 
No, Dios mío. So please, uh, seems we are in the second um, level, right? So uh, intermedio two. So please take up your notebook, take up something, okay, to write down, take notes, okay. So um, every time that you see a new word, please write it down. Write it down and investigate, right? Look for the meaning or the work or the usage, right? So it's not that good be like translating, right? Tratemos de evitar en la manera de lo posible estar haciendo eso de que traduzco, digo, traduzco, digo, because this, this is not a translation course, right? This is an English course, okay? So, uh, but my advice is that if you uh, see a word that you don't know, please write it down. So, alguien encontró a treadmill? No. Una rueda de andar, dice. Es, es ir, eh, es hacer ejercicio en una caminadora. Es como una caminadora. Es una máquina de caminar. Ok, perfecto. So, remember que estamos hablando de fitness, right? Fitness activities. So, Weight training podría ser lo que vemos acá en la ilustración, right? So está haciendo pesa, dice uno. El treadmill sería correcto como hacer ese ejercicio de elíptica, no sé cómo le llaman ahí a la máquina. Todo ese tipo de, de, de ejercicio que usted hace con, con máquinas, pero caminando, right? Uh, stretching. Eh, stretching cuando usted hace esto, que se levante y dice uno, dos, uno, dos, uno. So that will be a stretching. Walking and jogging. I guess that we have the meaning of all those. Okay. So nice. Let's move on. Okay. So let's see. Um, let me ask you. Okay. So. Um, quiero ver. ¿A quién no le hemos preguntado? Martín. Martín de Jesús. So, Martín, uh, which is your favorite sport? Hi, teacher. Um, about uh, the fight sport in the, in the, in the spring or, or other sport? Uh, from this list? Right now, right um, here, front this list, which one is like your favorite sport? Football. Okay, so my favorite uh, sport will be football, or my favorite yes. sport is... Um, my favorite sport is football. Football, okay, now yes. let's see. Uh, let's see, vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado. Silvia Esther. So what about you? What is your favorite sport? Or which one is your favorite from the list? My favorite sport is football. Okay, football. Okay, nice. Softball. Ah, softball. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Miguel Antonio, what about you? What is your favorite fitness activity right here? My favorite activity is stretching. Okay, my favorite activity. Uh, fitness activity is stretching, right? So nice. Uh, let's see, because of the time we need to continue, we are going to move on. Okay, so all the exercise that we skip, so try to do it, okay? So because of the time we are going to be, you know, moving on, but some of those uh, exercise are the ones that you are doing and also in the platform, right? Ahí los están algunos realizando dentro de la plataforma. So let's see, uh, we have a conversation right here that says I hardly ever exercise, okay? I hardly ever exercise. So do you know what is hardly ever? Not the meaning, um, the meaning itself, so hardly ever. So in grammar, what is this? Do you know what is hardly ever? Is casi nunca. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Casi okay, yeah, nunca. that would be the meaning, right? Casi nunca. So, but my question is in grammar, in English. So what is hardly ever? Que, eh, 
parte gramatical es esta o cómo le llamamos a esta a este eh, ejemplo de hardly ever How often? I'm sorry frequency adverbs Ah, adverbs of frequency, ok. So, esto usted ya lo hizo en la plataforma. Si usted empezó a trabajar, o sea, los primeros ejercicios ya los realizó, ok. So, adverbs of frequency. There are many uh, different adverbs, right, of frequency, but this is one that we have in this conversation, ok. So, listen, I'm going to read the conversation just one time for you to listen. And then some of you will practice, okay? So the conversation is between uh, Mary and Paul, okay? And it says, uh, you are ready fit. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I live wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then, um, sure. And then I often, okay, go uh, in light skating. How, whoa, how often do you exercise like that? Uh, about five times a week. What's, uh, what about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real coach potato. <gasps> my goodness. So I guess I'm a real po uh, coach potato. What's the meaning of that expression? Do you know? Un saco de papas que no hace nada. Ah, okay, very nice. So that is that will be like an idiom, okay? Do you know what is an idiom? No, un idiot. No estoy diciendo as id idiot. Estoy diciendo idiom. Do you know what is an idiom? No, nadie sabe. Nadie supo. Okay, so tarea, investigue what is an idiom. Mañana le vamos a preguntar a cualquiera, okay? So this is, I guess, I'm a real coach potato can be classified as an idiom, right? Uh, because it's an expression, right? That it's for them. So I guess I'm a real coach potato, right? Yo creo, creería que soy como un costal de papas, right? Es decir, que no ha practicado ningún deporte, right? Por eso que responde así. So, let's see. We have time just for one or two couples to practice reading the conversation. Uh, let's see. Ada, no, let's see. Ada ya le preguntamos. Zaira eh, y Dalia, you will be uh, Mary. And let's see. Eh, vamos a ver. Catherine Giselle. Catherine Giselle be uh, Mary. And the other person will be Paul. So, ¿a quién fue que le dije? I am Mary. Yeah, you are Mary. So, the other person. Oh, Mary. Ok. So, ¿quién fue la otra persona que le dije que iba a participar? Martín. That was you, right, Martin? Yes. Okay, so be Paul, Martin. So go ahead, please. Okay. Um, do you really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave weight from an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line sketching. Wow, how often do you exercise uh, like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I early ever exercise. I usually use watch TV in my free time. I wish I am real coach potato. 
Okay, okay, my goodness. So very nice. I like your pronunciation. Okay, that is nice. Okay. So hour, right? For an hour. This one, remember, this is a question, right? Seriously, right? You have to emphasize the punctuation, right? In Spanish, we don't really care. Usted lee en español y ahí no se tiene así es pregunta, admiración, respuesta, pausa, o sea, somos flat, así dicen, el español es un idioma flat. Usted le está preguntando a alguien, pero no suena como pregunta, ¿ok? Sino que usted mismo está preguntando y contestando, algo así, hablamos el español, right? So, but in English is different, right? In English, if you see a question mark, you need to read and do the intonation as a question. Seriously? Okay. Um, how often do you exercise? What about you? Okay. So in English, it's very important if we have an exclamation, if we have a question mark, if we have a point, if we have a comma. So punctuation is very important. But the two people that was reading was nice. Okay. So um, do we have any other work right here or something that it's not clear? Habrá alguien que no comprenda acá la conversation o vamos bien. Remember that you need to understand, right? So no solo leer, escuchar, usted tiene que entender lo que se está hablando ahí, right? I'm okay, teacher. Okay, Martín, so no questions, no hay ninguna palabra ahí que usted desconozca, ¿todo bien? Okay. Perfect, so nice. Now we have the adverse of frequency, okay? So esto ya lo vieron allá como en el módulo 2, 3, no sé. Por ahí se ven adverse of frequency, right? So in Spanish, we do have adverbios de frecuencia, right? So there are different type of adverbs, right? So, but right now it will be just adverse of frequency, okay? So let's see. Juan Antonio, Juan Antonio, please uh, help us read the question right here. Um, the two questions, please. Okay, only the question and the answer to. Teacher. Yeah, go ahead with the questions and if you can read the answers will be nice. Okay. How often do you exercise? I leave weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or much. <laughs> the another question is, do you ever watch TV uh, in the in the evening? The answer is yes. I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Thank you. Nice. So listen, these ones are examples, right? So what we are seeing right here is the, uh, the time expression and the adverb, right? The adverb of frequency, um, the position, right? No, usted no tiene que pensar de que el adverbio de frecuencia lo va a mencionar donde usted quiera. A veces uno se dice, ay, usually lo digo en medio, al final en al inicio, so lo importante que me entienda que always, right? No, that's not the, the correct way. So there is an order, right? There is a position for the adverb, okay? So um, normally, if you see in the examples, right? Uh, right here, so it will be, uh, be um, after the subject, right? After the subject, uh, you will select or you will add the adverb, right? I sometimes, I often, I hardly ever, right? So that will be the, the, the position. Now, 
Look at the adverbs that we have. So we have from zero to 100, right? So always means 100%. That means that every single time, every single day, month of year. So this situation happens, right? Always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, and never. So um these ones are the adverbs okay these ones are like the famous one the common ones that we have okay so are we clear with the adverbs of frequency sabe el significado de ellos el porcentaje más o menos right que que debe de de, de captarse en el adverb for example sometimes it's like 50 percent okay Sometimes it's 50%. Pueda que sí, pueda que no. Es mitad y mitad, right? So then, uh, often, usually, almost, always, and always, ya va para arriba, right? Llegando a un porcentaje mayor hasta un 100%, okay? And uh, hardly ever, almost never, and never. So never it means a zero, right? So never. I never go out from home. Yo nunca, nunca eh, salgo de casa, right? So that would be um negatives okay si lo vemos así uh from sometimes up that will be uh positives and from sometimes down that will be like negative negative um adverse because of the of the meaning right so let's see the examples okay we have an exercise right here and it says right here, put the adverb in the correct place, then practice with a partner. So this exercise says that we are going to add, right, the adverb, okay? And we have also the question and the answer, okay? Last time expressions que se usan acá son twice a week, once a month. So are we familiar right so usted ya sabe que es every day once a week twice a month three times a year so see sí, right si alguien todavía no capta mire eso de twice a month so please let me know no tenga pena no tenga miedo pregunte okay so are we clear with those expressions every day once a week twice a month three times a year so Sí, estamos bien. Yes. Okay, so let me, I already taken a screenshot. Let me send it into the, into the WhatsApp group because we are going to work in a small groups, okay? So voy a crear eh, grupos. Ahora es como el primer día que eh, vamos a hacer esto. Si algo falla, pues no sé. Eh, no se vaya a preocupar, okay? A veces suele pasar que Eh, la plataforma de Zoom no lo no lo mueve en grupos anteriores no sé si ya lo han enviado así a sala pequeña de, eh, de del Zoom no sé si ya han estado así yes, yes. ok so, si alguien no ha estado en grupo pequeño usted prácticamente no tiene que hacer nada yo acá Creo la cantidad de grupos que necesito y lo envío, ¿ok? Usted solamente espera que Zoom lo mueva a una salita con unos compañeros. Resuelven el ejercicio que acabo de enviar. Mandé captura al grupo de WhatsApp por si no tienen el manual a la mano. No diga, no tenemos lo que vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Ahí está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Ya lo... Sí, ahí está. So, um, I will give you four minutes, okay? I will give you four minutes for you to complete the exercise, okay? So, if it is a question, you are going to add the adverb in the correct position, and if it is the answer, so you are going to add the time expression in the answer, okay? Um, for example, um, do you ever play sports? Okay, sure, I play soccer twice a week. So that will be the example. So please complete the rest. Okay, está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. I will sure. give you four minutes. Okay, en cuatro minutos lo regreso acá al grupo. Please aprovechen el tiempo, okay?
Okay, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to the main room. Okay, fueron y regresaron volando, right? So, nice. This is a feature from Zoom. Y lo voy a decir en español, okay? Yo solamente creo los grupos. Yo le digo a Zoom, Zoom, hacerme cinco equipos de tanto. Y Zoom lo hace aleatoriamente. Yo no digo fulanito con menganito. O sea, puedo hacerlo, pero voy a tener una hora en estar organizando fulano con su tan, o sea, no, eso aquí se hace aleatorio, con la suerte con quien le toque, ok, lo que usted tiene que saber es que con el compañero que, que le toque, usted tiene que trabajar, ok, son cuatro minutos los que se van a estar en esa pequeña salita, Quiere decir que en esos cuatro minutos hay que resolver el ejercicio, ¿verdad? No puedo llegar, mira, ahí viste la novela, o sea, no, ¿verdad? Usted llega, buenas noches, compañeros, so let's do it, so number one, it says right here, ¿qué piensa? ¿Qué ponemos? ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Right? Because you have to complete the exercise in four minutes, ¿ok? Otra cosa que, que, que es importante eh, mencionar es que eh, para usted moverse, eh, de, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Del, de la main room a otra salita, tiene que tener cierta capacidad de internet. O sea, usted se le queda ahí patinando, conectando y conectando y conectando y conectando. Pueda que su velocidad, banda ancha, como le quiera llamar, eh, gigabytes, lo que sea que está ocupando, no le dan, o sea, no le aguanta, pues, y, y le cuesta. Alguien puso ahí que no. No se unía, o sea, es eh, de verificar. Yo, yo siempre les recomiendo que cuando usted se meta a la clase, usted dígale a la familia, miren, por lo menos ahorita de 8 a 9, este, no descarguen volados de YouTube porque me están robando capacidad de, de conexión y a mí me falla aquí el Zoom. O sea, Zoom es una plataforma muy bonita, pero que requiere cierta cantidad de megas. O, o velocidad, banda ancha, como lo quiera llamar. Pero si hay un montón de gente conectado con su mismo router, va a tener ese problema. Eso lo digo como una recomendación, ¿verdad? O sea, yo no digo que, que le va a prohibir el internet a la familia tampoco, ¿verdad? Pero sí, dígales, ¿verdad? Que por lo menos eh, si van a ver Netflix, ¿verdad? Está bien, pero... Una sola cosa, a veces el niño en la tablet de la esposa, el esposo descargando un video, el otro viendo YouTube, YouTube otro no, video games, ok. So, todo eso le resta internet a usted. Entonces eh, se quedan, porque se quedaron como cuatro ahí conectando, conectando. Ya cuando llegó al grupo, ya los compañeros ya habían hecho el trabajo. Entonces se pierde, ¿verdad? Entonces por eso le doy la recomendación que lo tome en cuenta, porque todos los días... Vamos a hacer esa salita. ¿Para qué? Para que usted haga las cosas ahí con el compañero y, y sirve también de convivencia, ¿verdad? Conoce usted quién es el compañero que está aquí y, y se comparte y se ayudan entre ustedes, ¿ok? So, lo dije así en Spanish because it's, it's important for you to be clear, ¿ok? Every single day we are going to be doing the small groups and you need to be ready, ¿ok? You need to move on immediately and go back, ¿ok? So, That's the way that we are going to do it because if not, it will be just me, me, and me. Y me se van a aburrir de oírme a mí. O sea, hay que compartir con el compañero, resolver y, y en cuatro minutos sacar la actividad de lo que sea. Ok. So, ahí usted se organiza. Vaya, tú escribí la uno, yo escribo la dos, yo escribo la tres. Pues no sabemos a quién le van a preguntar la respuesta. Ok. Pero todos la debemos de tener. So, I don't know if you finish. Ok. Yo creería que tal vez hubo un grupo ahí porque yo me meto a los grupos a ver qué está haciendo. Ok. Un grupo por ahí que no, no terminaron, pero bueno, le queda de tarea porque ya el tiempo se nos fue. Pero mañana empezamos con eso, viendo las respuestas y nos movemos al siguiente tema porque así vamos. No vamos a ir resolviendo así como que el manual de principio a fin, porque por eso necesitamos unos cuatro meses para responder todo con lujo de detalle. Vamos viendo como lo más importante, lo que usted está resolviendo en la plataforma. Ok, so I have just one minute and I need to validate the attendance. Ok, voy a mencionar como lo hice el día de ayer. Las personas que no contestaron asistencia, pero tal vez pueda que ya ingresaron. Alicia Pérez. Héctor José. Lenin Hernández. Lenin sí está, ¿verdad? Lenin Hernández Flores. 
No sé por qué no le puse asistencia. Bien. Eh, just that, ok. Dos personas no tienen asistencia. Los demás no los menciono porque ya me respondieron al inicio y ya tienen asistencia, ok. So, a time is over. Tomorrow we have class. The same link, the same time, the same everything. So, thank you for everything. Terminen el, el ejercicio. Si no lo terminaron, investiguen los, los idioms. Que con eso empezamos la clase mañana, ok? Cualquiera le voy a preguntar, hey, what is an idiom? So tell me an example, eh, and so on, and so on. Investiga eso y trabaja la plataforma que es su tarea principal, right? So, thank you, bye bye, see you tomorrow, ok? Time is over. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.